Okay, here we're going to look at two uh, of the important regions of operation, namely the cutoff region and the forward active region. In the cutoff region, we have basically uh, a, a stable device with no currents flowing. And what defines the cutoff region is that the base to emitter junction is reverse biased. In other words, the base voltage is lower than the emitter voltage, or we've got that diode turned off. And similarly, we also have the base to collector voltage being less than zero. So that particular diode's turned off. Now remember our emitter, base, and collector were defined as an N plus region, a P region, and an N minus region. And the doping concentrations would be such that N plus was much greater than P is much greater than N uh, for these regions. Now I also haven't drawn it to scale. Typically the base is going to be a very thin region. But what's happening here is that we have a bunch of electrons in the emitter and they're bound to holes that are in the base region and we have a similar situation at the collector. So we don't really have anywhere for charge uh, to move, so these are called depletion regions. And what these look like are insulating materials. Uh, so we have a conducting uh, region uh, in the emitter, a conducting region in the base, separated by an insulating region. And similarly, we have a conducting region in the base and a conducting region in the collector, uh, separated by uh, this depletion region. So we can model our transistor in this case to look like a couple of capacitors. Now the base to collector capacitor in bipolar transistors is called C mu, and the base to emitter uh, capacitor is called C pi. Okay, so remember no currents flowing, we just have a couple of depletion regions and the device looks like a capacitor. Now when we go to the forward active region, what happens is this base to emitter voltage is made to be positive, whereas the base to collector voltage is made to be negative. And in this region, what will happen is we'll have some electrons that will move in uh, from the emitter, emit into the base region, and then be swept to the collector. And this is going to represent our emitter and collector currents. Now simultaneously as this is happening, some holes will be injected from the base into the emitter. And further, we're going to get some electron hole recombination in the base. And that's going to be represented by a current that flows, or by a stream of electrons flowing out of the base, representing a positive current flowing into the base. Okay. Now we know that we basically have a diode here and so we can represent a couple of things. So we know that the collector current IC is equal to IS which is a saturation current and it's dependent upon the materials and doping concentrations times E to the VBE over VT and VT is the thermal voltage and remember this is 26 millivolts at room temperature. Sometimes we will approximate that as 25 millivolts to make the numbers a little bit easier uh, to deal with. In forward active region, the transistor has a property uh, called the beta or the current gain of the device. And this is equal to the ratio of the collector current to the base current. So the collector current is this current uh, consisting of the electrons streaming in the direction uh, from the emitter to the collector. And the base current is comprised of the current due to the electrons flowing 
uh, out of the base junction. And we want this to be large. Typically it's going to be on the order of 100. We have another parameter that's called alpha and alpha is equal to beta divided by 1 plus beta and if beta is large of course this should be approximately equal to 1. Finally if we were to use this device in the reverse active region uh, sometimes there it will list a beta reverse and this is of course much much smaller than the beta forward and of course if we were to look at the alpha term that would leave alpha reverse being much much less than one. Okay in the next set of slides we'll look at biasing the transistor device uh, and how to calculate bias points.